There's tons of great portable SSDs on the market these days, but the Oyen U34 Bolt is one of the fastest ones that you can get, whether you're going to use it with a Mac or a Windows computer, an iPad, or any device. This uses USB 4 to achieve incredibly fast speeds, and it's also fully backwards compatible with Thunderbolt speeds and USB 3 speeds. One of the other standout features of the U34 Bolt is the fact that it's available in both 4 and 8 terabyte configurations, so you get a ton of really fast storage in this drive. Now, Oyen did send me the U34 for purposes of making this video, but they have no say in the content you're about to see. This is going to be my experience using the U34 Bolt in the real world and all the speed tests I was able to achieve, as well as what I thought after using it for a few weeks for video editing. Whenever I got the U34 out of the box, I plugged it in my MacBook Pro and I ran disk speed tests on it. And I was getting speeds of about 2,900 megabytes a second on the write and 2,700 on the read on average. So very good speeds on this drive and it uses USB which is really neat because USB 4, the way this drive works, is fully backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3. This will also work with any other USB type connection, so you can use USB 3.1 dual lane, or you can also use just standard USB 3.1 Gen 2 speeds as well. In the box, you do get this USB 4 40 gigabit per second cable. This works just fine on my M1 Max MacBook Pro. I've been testing this for a few weeks, doing video editing, doing photo editing, moving large files and projects back and forth. I've had no issues at all. So some days I plug this in about 8 a.m. in the morning, and then I've left it plugged in all day. I test it again at 4 p.m. It's still working and running fine. It does get a little bit warm to the touch, but it has an aluminum cooling core. And then on the outside of it, there's actually this rubber jacket too, so you can pull this off if you don't want to use it. I recommend just leaving it on. It makes it just a little bit more tough, a little bit more durable, and it's vented on the side as well. So this just makes it a little bit cooler to the touch whenever you pick it up. I will say I never noticed this drive feeling ridiculously hot, especially compared to some other really fast SSDs I've used before or using some NVMe enclosures. This one ran just fine, did not get too warm at all. And also, I didn't have any issues with it bogging down on large file transfers or freezing up on me while I was doing video editing, even if I was doing projects with multicam clips, a lot of 6K clips, this handled it all just fine. This drive is also pretty tough. It meets the mill standard of 810, so there's some testing that's done on that to make sure that these drives are gonna be really high quality. It also has an aluminum core, and there's the rubber coating on the outside of the drive, and it also has the bumper as well. This is also fully Thunderbolt 4 certified, and Oyen also has a three-year warranty on this drive. So the U34 Bolt does include this short USB 4 cable, and I tested it with some other cables I had laying around. I had a Thunderbolt 3 and a Thunderbolt 4 cable. It worked fine with those. I tested it with the USB 3 cable and I was also able to get just fine speeds on that as well. You will be limited to the speed of whatever the device that this is plugged into is going to support. So if you're using a slower cable or a slower device, you are going to get slower speeds than you're going to get when you use this with the ideal setup of using a Thunderbolt cable or also a USB cable. This is pre-formatted for Mac, so if you want to use it on a different device, you are going to need to reformat it. And I also noticed on their site, it says that the four terabyte version of this is rated for 3000 terabytes written and the eight Eight terabyte version is rated for 6,000 terabytes written. This drive is a little bit heavier than some of the other portable SSDs on the market, coming in at about 8 ounces. It measures 4.5 inches long, 2.7 inches wide, and about 0.75 inches thick. But whenever you have it by your computer, it's really not going to feel that big at all. It's just a little bit bigger than other drives in terms of portability. So this drive performed really well with any of the tests I did. I didn't have any issues with it overheating or bogging it down. And I'm just really impressed that you're able to actually get 8 terabytes of storage in something that is so compact and so small. So this is now the fastest external SSD I've tested on my Mac. I've also had a lot of history using the SanDisk Professional Pro G40. That's not quite as fast as this, but it is a little bit smaller. That drive also doesn't support sizes all the way up to eight terabytes. It just goes up to four terabytes. But I think one of the big advantages of this drive is that Mac hard drives are so expensive if you wanna get a bigger drive on it, but all the Macs have the really fast Thunderbolt ports that do not support the USB dual lane speeds, but they do support USB 4 speeds like this drive is able to support. So this is really nice because for a while I've been telling people USB 4 drives are going to be really great to have around and there weren't very many options out. There's still not a ton of options out there, but this Oyen Bolt is a very fast drive. This could save you a lot over needing to upgrade your storage on your Mac. 
especially if you don't wanna buy a whole computer, your computer's running fast enough, but you just need a little bit of storage. Or it's also gonna be really handy if you wanna work on multiple computers using the same exact project files. You could work on your laptop, use this, and then plug it into a Mac Studio, and then still get super fast speeds on the drive. And I have no issues with doing my whole editing library on this drive. I just put all my video files on it, my whole Final Cut library, and I can easily drag it on other SSDs, make duplicates, copy it, so I have some redundancy as well at the end of the day. So we've talked about all the pros, now there's a big con we gotta get to. The price on this drive is honestly insane at this time of filming. That being said, this drive does come in at $1,100 for the eight terabyte version, or it's $529 to get the four terabyte version as of August, 2024. So if you buy just an eight terabyte NVMe drive today, it's about $800 to $900. And of course, sale prices can always change things. So be sure to check the links in the description below for all the most up-to-date pricing on things. And then if you wanna add an enclosure on to your eight terabyte drive, you're going to be spending anywhere from $100 to $200 on a nice USB 4 enclosure. I reviewed the Sateki one. It works great. So you're going to be spending about $1,000 if you want to get an 8 terabyte build your own NVMe SSD. And unfortunately, you're never going to be able to guarantee the speeds those are going to get because the companies are not testing the actual enclosure with the actual drive that's in them. So the price on this is gonna be a little bit more expensive than building your own drive, but you are gonna get Oyen's guarantee of the speeds, and they're gonna have your back with customer service if you're having any issues with it. So my other favorite portable drive is the SanDisk Professional Pro G40, which is a Thunderbolt 3 drive that's also backwards compatible with USB 3. So that means if you're not using Thunderbolt, the Pro G40 is gonna be a little bit slower, and the Pro G40 also tops out at about 2,500 megabytes a second on the read and the write, where the Oyen hits the 2,900 and 2,700 megabytes a second and it's just more backwards compatible with other different devices but the pro g40 does save you a little bit of money so it comes in a little bit cheaper and again i've had no issues with the pro g40 in terms of overheating or bogging down so i've really liked that drive as well but i think this one's going to be a little bit better just because it does give you the higher capacity that you can get on it and the fact that it uses usb4 it's going to make it a better option to use with devices that are going to continue to come out even ones that don't support thunderbolt speeds so the bolt is going to be a little bit better than the Pro G40 in my opinion. So to tie it all up, the pros of the Oyen Bolt are the incredible speeds that you're able to get on this drive faster than any other external SSD I've tested. The fact that you can use it with any device from a phone to an iPad, Windows computer, Mac computer, and it's also decently durable, although there is no IP rating on it. So this isn't gonna be quite as extreme of a drive as some other drives that offer IP ratings where they have the ingress protection from dust and water, but this one is still a very nice durable drive, although it does come in with a hefty price tag. So overall, I highly recommend the Oyen U34 Bolt for anyone who's looking for a fast portable SSD with tons of capacity available. I have links for both the four terabyte and eight terabyte version of this drive in the description below. If you have any other questions about this drive, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. Also, I wanna say this is an initial review of this drive, so I'm gonna keep using it. And if I have any other issues with it or notice anything else, be sure to check the description and the pinned comment just if there's any other info I need to add later. And also I'll have a follow-up review after a couple months of using this as a daily driver.